हेलो असलकुम गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर ऑल वेल विथ योर फैमिली मेम्बर्स एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज एंड माई क्लासेस फ्रॉम योर होम सेफली येस अगेन दिस इज तमल अहमेद योर इंग्लिश फर्स्ट पेपर टीचर आई एम वेलकमिंग यू फ्रॉम माई होम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू teach you a very important lesson from unit 5 lesson 2 and i am giving you such information to help you in your examination and you can attend every sorts of questions through this lesson okay my dear students you know i am missing you a lot and i am trying to give you some special task which will help you in your coming exams especially in ss exam i hope all situation will remain okay by the grace of almighty allah you can see that i am giving you my whatsapp and emo number you can mail me through this mail num mail address and you can knock me if you have any source of query or questions so boys let's start with the topic and i'm welcoming you again from my home this is the class for only for english first paper and only for the student of class 10 boys bring your eft book and page open page number 58 yes you can see this topic from unit 5 lesson 2 and the topic is environment pollution after this lesson you will have a good number of vocabularies and can answer couple of questions okay and i am giving you some information which is very much effective and essential in every source of question answering so boys let's start our today's class that is environment pollution unit 5 lesson 2 you can see the title of the lesson at the bottom of the page lesson 2 environment pollution from your eft book page number 58 and you will have couple of pictures picture 1 picture 2 picture 3 and picture 4 so boys i want to give you some short some short description about this passage and uh, you can you can make a summary or something something else that the passage has been written about the environmental pollution in bangladesh you know at present the ba- bangladesh is in the grip of um, something pollution like air pollution soil pollution and water pollution and air pollution comes from such variety of industrial plants brick cleans vehicles etc and you know water is a very important element of pollution Oh, water is important elements of our environment, and it pollutes in many ways. And so, in that case, water pollution occurs due to erosion, improper waste disposal, littering, etc. And household wastes, polythene shopping bags, agricultural pesticide, something. Uh, and that uh, we usually uh, we we everyday use items that we much use in 
uh, the polythene uh, shopping bags it is it is very much um, uh, harmful for the for our environment and it, it creates the blockage in the drains you know an agricultural pesticide fuel leakage from automobiles are the main cause of soil pollution there are also some solution given to these problems in the passage you know uh, you can see uh, uh, in the passage so let's uh, read out the passage and it is it is very important uh, to understand the passage okay and uh, you know you will have to learn you have to know the some important uh, vocabularies and and you you will uh, face some new words okay so let's start you can see in the passage bangladesh is now in the grip of all sorts of pollution like air pollution soil pollution and water pollution the dwellers yes the city dwellers and the inhabitants of the um, city of the urban areas are the worst sufferers of such pollution the indiscriminate industrialization process in bangladesh over the past decades yet the decades the last 10 10, 10 years huh? you know the uh, duration of 10 years has created significant environmental pro problems we will now read about some of the most common types of environmental pollutions and ways of coping with them. Yes, first one is air pollution. Air pollution comes from a wide variety of sources. In Bangladesh, poisonous exhausts from industrial plants, bricklings, old or poorly serviced vehicles, and dust from roads and construction sites are some of the major sources of air pollution so but students my dear boys before starting this passage i have already started okay so you have to give attention to the new words and i am giving you and i am select some new vocabularies from uh, the text and it is very much related and it is much useful for your on, on learning or adapting the text okay first one one is grip you have uh, you, you can notice this word from the first line of the passage it belongs to parts of a species noun and meaning is clutches or in the hand yes in the grip you can and then antonym is misconception release dweller means it belongs to the noun parts from the parts of speech and meaning is inhabitant and antonym is refuge or transient indiscriminate it's an adjective and synonym is aimless or extensive and antonym is planned coping with it's deal with or disarrange is antonym Another next one is exhaust. Exhaust is a verb. Exhaust is a verb. Okay. So it means make someone feel tired. And and then next one is emission. It is also a noun. It means discharge or refrain. Now you can see a picture. It is a related picture to the picture 4 and I am giving you this source of smoke releasing from the um, chimneys of uh, mills or factories. It, it is the main cause of air pollution, you know. And uh, again, uh, it is a traffic jam, okay. It is, uh, so uh, the uh, most of the vehicles release the carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide. It also reduce uh, it is it is the causes of air pollution and uh, another picture it related to the garbage of our wastes of household works and we uh, you we throw it here and there and it also uh, release a bad smell okay you know 
it in the city dwellers usually use this and do this work okay so um, it also creates pollution and the, this picture is very much related to the um, water pollution it it is the drainage system of the um, uh, mill and factories um, wastes it directly directly thrown in the river and so the river water becomes polluted okay all this picture is very much related to the text and uh, i am giving you more new vocabularies that is kilns now that is noun what is furnace or stove sediment is a noun also it means silt another one is erosion decay meaning is decay a rebuilding is antonym leakage is also a noun it means damage substance it means thing and disposed it's a verb and its meaning is dumped and it means retention pesticide yes it is a word that is used in a um, in soil and it overuse of these pesticides uh, to um, you know this word and uh, this pesticide is very much used in um, in producing crops uh, it is used in the um, in the land so over excess uh, excessive use of this pesticide uh, makes the soil what yes make the soil polluted and uh, mm, enormous it's a huge it means a huge use or uh, overuse of pesticides uh, it the word is used here is enormous and uh, it may it, uh, it antonyms is tiny and uh, next one is mismanagement yeah you can see uh, the word is mismanagement sorry the t is not here mismanagement nt okay and another new vocabulary is as uh, recycling reuse it means reuse and one term is waste it is it these all this has been uh, have been used in the text and i'm going to read out the next page okay then you will notice the words so you just um, you just pick the word and write it on your copies it will help you in future okay so next one is overuse excessive use okay topsoil it's mean earth and there is an uh, opposite meaning uh, that i have mentioned here sky yes soil or sky okay and reforestation it means forestation or afforestation erosion it means corrosion or building and prevent it means avert or advanced all these words are very much important and very much effective um, to learn this uh, lesson uh, you can um, see in page number 60 let's start this text again okay we can minimize this type of pollution by making less use of motor vehicles and avoiding the used vehicles older than 20 years that is it no vehicles of more than 20 years have no authority to run in the road but uh, unfortunately we have to uh, see these types of vehicles in our in our uh, roads in the city now uh, we may also use proper lubricants to lessen the level of emission of pollutants we can encourage people to use compressed natural gas that is we, we very much known this in short form the cng or liquid petroleum gas lpg for fueling their cars 
the government may uh, relocate hazardous industries like brick kilns to areas away from human habitants yes uh, these all are from the first part of this pollution there is air pollution now second thing is water pollution water pollution can occur in oceans rivers lakes ponds and underground re reservoirs as different water sources flow together the pollution can spread easily and quickly causes of water pollution include increased sediment from soil you know the meaning is sediment yes and next is erosion then improper waste disposal and littering and it is also the uh, related to leakage yes you can see leakage of soil pollution into water supplies and last one is organic materials that decay in water supplies so boys um, you can uh, have an you can notice that uh, water pollution water pollution occurs in such a way in fact polluting in next is in fact polluting the land means polluting the water throwing away a toxic substance substance means surface of the uh, ground on the ground near the water sources means it eventually uh, reaches the body of water as a result the water is polluted so industrial waste must not be disposed in rivers or lakes it, it there is it is a very much vital thing that uh, that pollutes rivers and lakes that is industrial waste you can yes you, you just pick this point we need to be more careful about disposing household waste too use of pesticides mean that when it rains chemical used in the lawn or garden wash into the water bodies therefore we must be aware of the dangers of using pesticides yes i have mentioned uh, earlier that the overuse of pesticide remains water pollution too as they may pollute our rivers canals and lakes also yes this is the another case of soil pollution but it uh, pesticides also pollutes the soil among the most significant causes of soil pollution yes this is the third para third 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 point that is soil pollution among the most significant causes of soil pollution is the enormous volume of industrial waste which is being produced every day but not disposed properly this mismanagement of household waste particularly particularly the polythene shopping bags has caused yes i mentioned uh, uh, before uh, starting the text that polythene bags has caused serious threat to the soil and the drainage system yes it blocks the drainage system i have mentioned in before okay another cause for soil pollution is the use of agricultural pesticide yes like water pollution agriculture pesticide is also the cause of soil pollution fertilizer etc sometimes fuel leakage from automobiles may get washed away by the rain and seep into the nearby soil pesticides and fertilizers are useful for plant growth but they are overuse yes excessive use i have mentioned earlier that excessive use yes you can use this word excessive use or overuse has led to soil pollution and natural fertilizer and compost can be used instead of their chemical alternatives now this is a very important word that is recycling is another way to reduce and control soil pollution yes we can remain conscious aware from the soil pollution by recycling what recycling papers plastic and other materials reduce the volume of refuse in landfills deforestation yes the opposite meaning of afforestation the deforestation also causes erosion pollution and the loss of fertility in the topsoil planting trees and reforestation that means afforestation help 
prevent soil erosion and pollution these are uh, these are the all about the text you can see the particular three part of pollution that is air pollution then water pollution and this soil pollution all these happen all these pollution has been occurred due to the man made problem such as using pesticides in a in a in a field to grow more and more and uh, um, leakage of industrial waste in the water is make water pollution and soil pollution is over excessive use of pesticides or okay, and uh, throwing household waste is here and there it also creates a soil pollution okay boys so uh, this is all the topics about and uh, it is the very much related uh, to the um, some paragraph like uh, environment pollution water pollution soil pollution air pollution so boys i want to give you an hw on the particular text and uh, I, you can see here question number 2 i am providing for you and you have to answer in your uh, hw paper and um, reserve it uh, for the future assessment okay and uh, you can see question number 2 a why is a soil being polluted describe in brief here the brief means in short okay most of the students uh, don't uh, 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 think that it is uh, uh, it it means it means in short they think that it means briefly or something uh, uh, with description okay not necessary you can uh, answer this sentence in short describe in brief means in short okay number b how can we reduce soil pollution yes it is much very much important question and number c describe briefly here the briefly means with um, with elaboration okay the main purpose of the writer and number d why should we be aware of using pesticide pesticide is a factor but uh, we have this uh, this word couple of times that uh, it uh, also um, uh, pollutes uh, water as well as soil uh, so we have to aware to in using these types of um, pesticides in 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 our land hmm. Uh, we can think that it can fertile our land, but uh, sometimes over excessive use of this uh, harm the land areas, okay, and the quality of the land. And the question number E How does recycling help us? Yes, this is the very much important question for you, and you have to write using uh, uh, the information why it is, is being used. And, and uh, why we need to recycle okay and uh, um, by using before using a new thing we just think and and notice that uh, we have to um, uh, we may recycle our belonging elements or uh, equipment and then use it uh, then, and then need one and uh, yeah, you can see I am providing a paragraph environment pollution so it is very much related to the topic environment pollution and air pollution soil pollution a uh, couple of years uh, in your SSC previous SSC exam water pollution air pollution separately uh, very much common and and uh, you may have this kind of paragraph in your a, a, a coming exams okay so i have uh, mentioned here the uh, environment pollution and all pollution has been stated in your description okay maybe your boys and uh, you can see a sample answer for question number two number a and uh, the question was 
why is the soil being polluted describe in brief the answer is soil is being polluted you can use soil is being polluted or uh, you can use uh, the source of uh, reason and then it cause soil pollution it, you can write in this in those way okay so uh, i have mentioned here that is soil is being polluted for multiple reasons like mismanagement of industrial waste and household garbage overuse of pesticides yeah yes i mentioned more than five times that is pesticides the vital factor overuse of pesticides chemical fertilizers and oil oil leakage this is the answer and you have to um, write this way when you just see that uh, you have to write a question in brief in brief means in short okay i have i want i want to repeat that in brief means in short so again i want to uh, read out this answer soil is being polluted for multiple reasons multiple means many various reasons like mismanagement of industrial wastes and household garbage overuse of pesticide chemicals fertilizers and oil leakage so my dear boys hope you will enjoy uh, uh, this text very much and uh, these types of information and text uh, that will help you in your exam future exam and i uh, hope you, you will you will uh, use my uh, information and use these techniques uh, in in giving um, a, a short uh, description or short uh, giving answer so i hope i uh, will uh, be benefited and uh, i wish that i could see you in future okay that is my uh, hope and desire mm, and uh, we are spending a very odd situation and uh, and pray in our every prayers that the situation became remain well or okay okay so my dear boys uh, thank you for being with us and being with me and uh, um thank you again for watching till the end uh, allah hafiz assalamu alaikum warahmatullah